I was going to say, I think everybody has a table like this at home. No, I think everybody has a room like this at home that has things in it that you keep thinking, I've got to get rid of it, I've got to do something with it, I've got to, I've got to, and yet we don't. Well, today we're going to help you get this all organized, and who better than professional organizers to do that. This is Samantha Christofferson and Emilio Jose Garcia. They're with KW Professional Organizers, and today we're going to help you get organized, or at least declutter, yeah. which I think for a lot of us, we get caught up in clutter. I know for me, it doesn't make me feel good. I just, I don't know how to get rid of the things that I, I have around. And, and one of the things that we wanted to share with you in the audience is the questions that you can ask yourself for those really difficult items. We've brought some really specific items, paper, books, photographs, technology, wires, and we're going to try and help explain, you know, what are the things that I need to know that I'm able to let go of them, or where can I put them or take them so that they don't end up in our landfill. Okay, I like that. And I'm, I'm going to say, I bet one of the things that makes it hard for people, I know it makes it hard for me to let go of anything, is there's memories. There's memories associated with everything and it's more the memory I don't want to get rid of more so than the piece of the article or whatever it is. So one of the main things before you get started it's always to understand why are you doing this in the first place. What is that bright future that you are working towards? Because if you have that uh, vision very clear, it's going to help you make those decisions. What is your goal? Where are you going to? Are you downsizing? Are you looking into doing activities that you cannot do right now? What is it? Okay, and for everybody that's a little bit different. You might be of wanting course. to gain some new space that you didn't have before, yeah. or when you talk about downsizing, a lot of people, this is a time where you start looking and thinking, okay, it, it's, it's time, it's, it's time. time. Maybe they came and saw the minimalism documentary that last time we were on the TV show we were <laughs> talking right. about, and then that inspired them. That sparked, you know, this ignition to want to start to go through your belongings and see what you have. Yeah, so, I, th I think for me, it's, it, you almost feel overwhelmed sometimes when you see the amount of stuff mm. that you have. And I feel better when everything is kind of in its place and, and, and where it belongs. Everything has a home. <laughs> Nothing okay. better to our ears than to hearing that. All right, well, walk yeah. us through the process of what we're going to do. Well, so as Emilio said, the most important thing is what we want to know is what do you want to accomplish? Is okay. it you want to know what everything, every cupboard has in your kitchen? Or you want to change that child's bedroom into your new office or workout space? Um, we want to understand what the end goal is. And then once we understand that, this is what we set up in the space to help you go through your items. So you need to pick what is the space that is going to that you are going to benefit the most from. Is okay. it the kitchen? Is it the bedroom? What is it? So once you have that space, okay, I want to get started here. That's why we, we bring a table. And what we do, we start in one corner of the room and then we do a wave. We will touch every single item and then you are going to be on this side of the table and we are going to be on the other side and you are going to make decisions only on the items on the table. That okay. way it's not as overwhelming for you to look at everything. You are only focusing on the table and oh, we make sure to bring things and to move things around for you. Okay, so even though everything behind me might be cluttered up, I'm just looking what's on the table right now and we're going to deal with this mm -hmm. right now. Okay, so we would start with one item and we would say, what, what does this shirt represent to you? Is it broken, repaired? Is it something that no longer fits or you're hoping to fit into it? Once we discover what that is, maybe we found out it's donation. So we'll put okay. that into a donation bin below. We also have recycling, okay. garbage so to so donate. So you've got the bins all ready to yeah. go there so you make the automatic decision and it exactly. automatically goes yeah okay and if it's to stay we're then sorting and putting things into piles so when we finish touching every single thing in the room we know what it is we know what it's used for and we know where we can store it and what we need to potentially store it and I love that idea of knowing right away where it's going so that you don't I would come back to it later on and think well maybe maybe that always happens so sometimes that you have a hard time deciding about an item so we create a maybe pile and then once we are doing like one hour or two into the session you will make decisions way faster and way easier because and I bet you gain momentum and they make decisions differently after an hour or two of going through this process yeah. where suddenly it, it, it's almost like it's freeing in yes. a way it is really freeing yeah. it's really empowering sometimes really the, those maybe items at the end of the session when we go back to it because we want to make sure we leave everything in a good standing order when we go back to the maybe item they say oh no let it go <laughs> or no now I have the perfect space because this door is completely empty let's put it in there one of the things that I was saying to you before was I, I find it easier for me to let go of things if I know 
it can be recycled, it can be reused, it's going to mm -hmm. another home or it has another purpose. I have a bigger problem if I think it's just going into garbage. So this is one of my problems at yeah. home. I, I have a bucket full of different Why? cords and stuff that we're not using anymore, but I don't know what to do with it. So if you donate them uh, and you go to any thrift store, what they do, they normally take them all and then they group them together um, they put them in a, in a bag and then you can go there and you can buy a bag for maybe one or two dollars and maybe it's a cord that you need it that they don't sell anymore so it's great they don't go to the landfill and that's one way we always donate everything we have a lot of great resources in our community the uh, working center to name one center. of them thrift on kent which is the mennonite coalition um, just to name a couple but one quick search on google you're going to have a lot of results also with electronics it's a great fundraiser in the community that people now have the ontario electronic recycling bins on their properties right. you can type in, in a quick search okay. of ontario electro uh, electronic recycle and you'll see a, a a pinged map of our area and there's actually 25 locations where you don't have to talk to anyone you can pull up in your car and you can drop your electronics in for recycling old televisions to wires to all that kind so of stuff. that's where my, my box of wires can mm -hmm. go to okay yeah. that's when I can get rid of that okay so things like photographs and things like that that's a really tough question what do I do with old photographs there's the memories right and yeah. and and if you don't have the right storage to display them or you're not displaying them they're in a cardboard box in the garage or in in the basement you know looking to do special occasions with your family saying you know what everybody come over for dinner on Sunday we're gonna pull out these boxes everybody take one let's look through let's pick the ones we love let's digitize them let's frame them think of something creative and okay. make it something where it's not just about you having to go through it I like that idea at the end of the day it's not about letting go of things it's about understanding what do you want to use the space for and make it inviting and functional for you I like so that. if you have the space and you really like it, keep it. But if you don't have the space, maybe you have to find a different home or a different alternative. Or just a different way of thinking about exactly. it and then digitizing and all yep. those different things that you can do now that don't technically take up space. Yep. And then you still got your memories. Yeah. I love that. Paper is another thing that's really difficult for people. So Christmas cards, you've probably gotten a lot of them in the mail. Paper filing folders. One of the things we've noticed, people don't take that action to do it on a on a maintenance level. Keep doing that throughout the year. Oh, and so much other great advice. KW organizers can help you out with that. Or if not in this area, you can go to Canadian. Yeah. The Canada Professional Organizers, organizers in Canada. In Canada. Yeah. There we go. And you can find an organizer near you to help you clear off this table and get rid of all of this mess. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Thank you for having us. We're back with more daytime in a moment. Stay with us.